Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz and welcome to the ability testing unlocking area in Kirby Planet Robobot where upon beating the game like we just did in the last part, Access Arc will have a new place for us to access via a very strange light filled arc, I suppose. Also, we get the happy ass jig again, so thank you so much. This is the fabled copy testing room that we have discussed a little bit in the past. And we're gonna go take a quick look at this because there's not really any reason to revisit this section of the game. This is only the story mode and there still lies a plethora of things for us to do. But here, by god this place is so beautiful. It's so jubilant and uh, every ability in the game is shown here in some capacity or another. And we've gotten most of them. Except I don't think we bothered with the sleep because if you couldn't tell it just kind of renders you a little bit Immobile for a little bit. So don't grab this unless you want to take a little nap, but that's all right Oh, and also we have crash. I forgot about this crash is actually kind of cool It's one time use destroys everything on screen and you wear sweet ass poop hat. So that's awesome You have an invincible enemy in here that you can practice your moves on so excuse me, sir as you don't do any damage to me we'll go charge up and go Super Saiyan? That would be an absurd crossover. <laughs> He's just fine. He's like, oh, so you're gonna do anything there, friend? <laughs> oh, and we can also go inside of these doors, which will lead us into the Robobot testing room. Oh boy. Um, so there's no real secrets here. We only have the ones that we've seen over the course of the game. So we've got our jazz hands and no, I'm gonna actually kill people here. I'll give you some nice stuff like, I don't know, a concussion maybe? <laughs> they also will reimburse you with soda and sometimes one-ups and stuff, so... It's not too bad. If you just wanted to take a look here or just, you know, indulge in a little bit of killing, then this is probably where you're going to want to go, but for the most part, it's a little disappointing that they don't offer something kind of neat, like that Smash Bros ability that you only see like twice in the game, so... I don't know. Anyways, today on the channel we are actually going to be doing something a little bit different and we are going to be going back through the story mode and collecting all of the rare stickers and HAL rooms that I missed. Now granted, I wasn't exactly looking for them and a lot of the places where these things are hidden are extremely obscure, so, and aside from the rare stickers, they don't really have any, any say on your percentage and you don't get anything for unlocking or finding them all, so we're just gonna take a bit of a sidestep here. I know I said we're gonna do Meta Knight, but we're gonna wait for a little bit on that. And we can take this. We can take our Smash Bros ability. Sweet. Love this thing. Uh, but no, for most of our... Oh, that was that was kind of bizarre. I didn't... Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab our, our trusty hammer, and I do believe I will meet you guys in world 1-1 one, one for the first rare sticker that I missed. Yes, 1-1. One, one. <sighs> it's gonna be a long night. Alright, Cranky Woods, it looks like I got a little bit of business to deal here with ya, and um, yeah, essentially what you need to do here is take out Clanky Woods, I don't know why I call them Cranky because he's mad. Just go ahead and take him out and uh, I don't usually like doing this with something that's not hammer just because it takes so long. I mean I guess potentially you could do it with like spark or whatever other ability you got first but I would just wait. Kill him here because it's more than possible. And there's our rare sticker. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. And I do believe that gets us a star rod Kirby sticker so good stuff. Now, onto world 1-4, I believe. That is what my notes say. And we want to head into this room, the one with all of the death spikes on the floor and the chain link fence here to grab, because once we see this fire dude, we want to go above him. Not above that way, but here. And I don't know how I missed that. So dumb. But that'll actually get us the Adeline sticker, so that's kind of awesome. Nice little throwback to Crystal Shards there. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so at the end of World 3-2, we are going to want to 
head back over here and flip into this really obscure background for our next rare sticker, which contains a uh, grill, I believe. I don't know who that is, but... Okay, now, in this room, in the Ice Factory, which is World 3-4, this one's kind of annoying to get. I don't like it. <laughs> and I wouldn't, oof, I wouldn't think to, because it's kind of vague. Uh, but we want to go into this bottom left-hand corner and not die. Oof. And that is our Sticker, which will give us a very lovely ribbon, from, also from Crystal Shard, so, very nice. Okay, world 3-5, once you kill bonkers, you want to actually head off this way because they do a little bit of reverse psychology, making you think that this is the regular way to go, when in fact this is where the sticker is being held, which is kind of interesting. And this one, I believe, holds DeRoach from Squeak Squad. I don't know who that is, but it's probably pretty neat, I guess. And now for World 3-7, I don't know how I missed this, but underneath here, there's your sticker, and it just gives us a nice Klesia. So, wow, thank you so much, you asshole. <laughs> and now into the desert we go for World 4-2, where, again, in the video, I actually mentioned how to get this, but then I just completely neglected to grab it, and then I forgot to. It was kind of silly of me to forget. And most of the stuff that I've collected off screen, like on my sight read of this game, like I've, I've collected, and, I, and then I just randomly missed when recording it, so. Go ahead and grab your, your robo suit and punch the hell out of that. Take the star to go into the back, which I guess is called a 3D warp star. It's weird. I don't know. And basically just climb all the way back up here for, I believe, a. Uh, Drossia sticker, I'm not sure, but yeah, that, there's that. Hey. Alright, so I believe we're getting close here. We are in world 4-5, and once we go up this little shaft here, when you're dropping down that, that thing, there you go, get a nice little dark Meta Knight sticker, so definitely worth our time there. Alright, World 5-2, the most ridiculous thing that I had to actually look up. There is a secret room above the casino. I had no idea why they had this here, but it contains a Smash Bros. Uh, orb, so that's really nice. And we want to go and just grab our rare sticker right there, which will give us a Dragoon sticker. Nice. Gotta love me some Kirby Air Ride, but I hate this secret. <laughs> Okay, so we are all the way in world 6-7, and right after you see that little eel there, this hole will lead us to a lovely rare sticker in the ceiling. Nice, and I do believe that's a crazy hand, so again, pretty cool. And now for the last one. I, again, I cannot believe I missed this one. You want to go to the very end of the last level, and I remember <laughs> so clearly saying they had to have done something with this. Well. Obviously, they did. You see that moon up there in the corner? That one that just popped up at the very end that's supposed to be a very subtle hint as to what you're supposed to do next? Well, you can go inside of it, and this will contain our very last rare sticker in a strange world. Nice little throwback music as well, which is really nice. I believe this is from Kirby's Dream Land. So, and I don't think it's... it might be one of the weird songs, but... Lots of goodies in here for us. Three stickers, and wow, okay, that was in the foreground, apparently. Yeah, don't worry, you didn't miss it, you just gotta unscrew one of these. I think it's the far left one, but nope. Alright, here you go, buddy. Just let me up, please. And there we go. Collect a myriad of items, and that is our last rare sticker of the entire game, but it sucks because there's no happy ass jig or fanfare. I guess this is one of the last goal games, so... Yeah! There we go. Whew, god, I'm tired. Sorry, I've already- I've been sitting here for almost an hour. <laughs> uh, because you have to beat the levels in order to have the stickers stay collected. So, and it's been good getting me some of the ones I haven't been able to complete before. So, let's see, we got Krako. That's kind of good for us. And Choo Choo, hey! Kirby's Dream Land 3. 
And as well as that, yep, another 3D Warp Star. Uh, Dreamland, that actually looks kind of, kind of neat. And for our rare sticker, it's the Dream Hatcher. Everybody knows what this bad boy is, just a special one. Oh, and wow, it was our 150th unique sticker. That's actually really cool for that one, for the rare sticker. And then we just get a Scully. <laughs> oh, god damn it. But that does it. As I said before, it doesn't. the game doesn't really offer any sort of significant congratulations, aside from the fact that that was the last one, but here's my list of things that I've gone through. There's still a lot I have to get, and like I said, it's a complete roll of the die as to whether or not I get one that I don't have before, but yeah, all of these with the rainbow gradients are special, and there we go. All done. And you know what? I think I probably will equip this bad boy. Yes, I will, uh, yeah. Not that it's gonna matter, we're rarely gonna be in our robo-suit for the rest of the game. Actually, I don't think we are. Hmm. Yeah, these are kinda neat. <laughs> uh, god. So, that does it for all the rare stickers that I missed, but... What about some other stuff? As is a mainstay of the Kirby series, there are a couple of rooms to be found in the capacity of the, uh... How capacity? Oh my god, I, that, I thought that was the way to leave. Very clearly not. I guess we can pick up an ability that'll make things a little bit easier for me. In finding the secret HAL rooms. In each game, there has been typically one to three of them where they don't offer any significant purpose. All they do are, are just like secret rooms. And they're a little, little strange to get to. I feel like in this game, they're not nearly as cleverly hidden. They're just kind of... They're just kind of there. I don't know. But anyways, uh, first thing that we are going to want to do is I will meet you guys in the train in World 1-3 for our first Howl Room. And I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so right as we get near the end of this place, go ahead and ditch your robo-suit. And we'll go ahead over here. You can technically still go through here with it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so we're gonna go press the switch, make sure that the star is activated, but that you don't go on it. We actually need to do a little bit of backtracking because I think I mentioned this before, but there's a really strange, kind of oddly hidden 3D warp star just hanging out where we need to collect our third cube. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna go <laughs> backtrack a little bit because no big deal. So in this area, just go ahead and yeah, go over here, and now we're gonna go, oh, we can't go through that, all right. Just keep on going right, and we're gonna have a little talk with that conductor. I don't know what he's doing sleeping on the job. He's driving this hell of a train throughout the desert. I don't know what, what he's thinking when he's just, you know, decided so you want to take a little nap. Hey, Mr. Conductor, I got a bit of a bone to pick with you. Why are you asleep right now? There are so many people on deck. That is just irresponsible. <laughs> But we're gonna go into a secret sex dungeon because... Oh, there's no extravagant change of music. They give us a couple of one-ups here. Not that it really matters, considering... Well, they reset every time you leave the game, so... But once we head over here, it's gonna go follow this place where even more train people are sleeping and eating. <laughs> oh, it's kind of adorable, though. <laughs> No, we have ourselves an alternative little star here. Sweet. Where will this take us, I wonder? Basically, to the same place as before. But this time, check it out! It's our first Howl Room. Oh, I missed this. I missed this place. So, like I said, it doesn't really offer anything of substance for us. I mean, a couple of stars, a maximum tomato if you want it, and a couple of, I guess, abilities. Well, that's pretty, yeah, it is pretty neat. And, um, I'll meet you guys all the way in World 6-1. God damn it. Okay, I think we are getting pretty close here. So, once you've eaten your invincibility candy and you've destroyed the hell out of this second security force with your powers of Candy Rush Maverickness, uh, we're gonna go continue heading off into this area where, again, my first time playing this, I found this secret and then I just neglected to remember it when I was recording. 
which is weird how that works. It's a little slit in the ceiling. We'll go ahead and head over here, and you might not notice anything inherently wrong with this picture at first. Well, this one does have something wrong with it. We go inside of the portrait with a little rip in it, and... <gasps> Sweet! Nice music being played here. I like it. It's pretty neat. <laughs> And this will lead us to our second HAL room, which does provide us with a third Smash Bros. ability, which is interesting. I forgot there was one in this room also. But it's weird that they put this one all the way over here. Like, and the third one is in World 6-4. So it's, it's a little unusual. Anyway, I want me some of that. Thank you so much. And we'll get rid of all of these post-haste. Yeah, this one seems to be a little bit more of a fruitful excursion than before. Yeah, it's a nice little, nice little secret. I just wish, I don't know, I could have found it on my own by accident. <laughs> the last one. If you found on by accident, I would be so disappointed in you, but... We're gonna go find it, because in World 6-4... Oh my god. Okay, so once you get to the very end of this place, go ahead and wait next to the door, because, um... Something really strange and obscure happens, and just wait here, you'll be fine. Music. And after a while, a door will pop up, finally. Wow, that felt much more than 90 seconds. And here's where we can find our last HAL room. The only difference here is, it's gonna try to kill us! No! How dare you. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I don't approve. But yeah, this this is kind of a weird, a weird howl room. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But we'll take Mike just to end things off. And I don't think there's anything else to this place either. So yeah, there we have it. All the howl rooms and all the rare stickers that I missed. Not something that should really pertain to anybody, but still kind of fun. All right. Yeah. Okay. We still got the one. We still ended on a strong note, so that was good. God damn, I've been sitting here for close to an hour and a half. I... I don't even know why. This is probably gonna come out to be like a... Maybe 15, 20 minute video. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got, shall we? For our final stickers, the paint roller. Woohoo. And ooh, comic book Krako. That is kind of awesome. Oh my god, they give us two of them in a row. Wow. That was kind of silly. Ah. <laughs> uh, Excellent. My thumbs are starting to ugh, be really irritating. I cut them a little too short, like my fingernails, and now they're just like digging into me. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here because um, we're done with story mode. There's nothing else for us here, I guess, unless you want more stickers. But you can get them in other modes, such as Meta Nightmare Returns and the Arena, which I do believe we'll be undertaking in the next part. If not only because Meta Nightmare is going to take a while, and I would like to do the arena since it's a little bit quicker, and I don't want to sit there for like two hours doing, you know, Meta Knight stuff. But the arena is going to be pretty sweet, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys then. God, this is going to suck to edit.